Hi, this is Roger. Thanks for dropping by. It's just a quick video, really, to say that today and tomorrow we will be testing the grow room in heat. Um, we're expecting 27, 28 degrees C today. Um, I get a little, I get a degree or two more um, because this garden is so sheltered, I've got no breeze. Um, again, when you're not far from the coast in, in the UK, the south coast, there's always a gentle sea breeze. And it has a slight cooling effect, but not here. The garden is far too sheltered. So I may well be on my way up to 30 degrees outside today. Now, in the other place, the only way I could call it, we had two layers of shade netting all round and on the roof to try and keep the sun out off the glass and um, <clears throat> we also had the extractor fan and the inlet fan to change the air now the problem was there on a day like today and tomorrow where the outside temperature is greater than I want the grow room to be the inlet and and, and um, extractor fan served no real purpose because the air coming in was the same temperature as the air getting sucked out and unfortunately the air getting sucked out had my humidity in it so it meant the humidifier was on all day long as well so um, today will be a test the shade netting is on half of the roof which is the only bit that the sun touches and in addition to that I do have the ability to open the window and the door and it does actually change the air. But again, today I'd be letting in air, you know, that's warmer than I would like it to be. So starting to, you know, now, <laughs> whatever it is now, it's early o'clock, half past eight in the morning, I'm currently at about 18 degrees. And my humidifiers, which just don't read correctly, these little gadgets, don't get the humidity right and a lot of the time it's because they get caught with the sprayer when I'm watering. Um, however this one over here gives a pretty accurate reading so I would say we're at 78 79 percent humidity at the moment at that temperature which is more than enough at that temperature. You don't need high humidity values with relative humidity when your temperatures are low. Um, however, this temperature will climb as the, oh look the uh, oranges the sun moves so quickly here, so the um, epidendrums caught catching the sun now. Well, that really does light it up <laughs> it 's marvelous how this sun moves across at such speed at this time of day. this wasn 't in the sun when I was filming that, and nor was this, and now this is going out of the sun, and these do come in. Um, but yeah, it seems a bit bare in here as far as blooms are concerned at the moment because most of what I had went off to Malvern. Um, my Ivanagara apple blossom is failing fast. This one will probably go today. That was the last one to open. My um, Lindley eye is on its last legs. These, these blooms will drop very, very soon. Should see some new growths on that soon. I don't see any at the moment. And then round here, my Kaneko has got a nice little cluster of blooms. So that's looking quite good. But then, you know, that should in theory have lots of clusters of blooms, not just one. Um, it's been having a bit of a sulk recently, but um, it's sort of growing again now. And, um, you know, there will be more buds to come on those canes. In fact, I can see some from here on the farthest cane. So there will be more to come. And, um, not much else. That um, whoops, that nobly type there. The spikes are extending, so we'll have some more blooms on there soon. Um, and apart from that, this whole shelf here has got nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Um, oh, actually, I tell a lie. We have got these coming on, so we have got something over on this shelf. <laughs> um, these will be a first-time bloomer as well to see what they're like. That'll be good. Um, and down here uh, we do have one of the big Miltoni Miltonias has a spike, I forget which one it was, but um, this one was recently repotted, this was the Spectabili I believe, 
No, that was Reg Nellii. And basically it was split up into four individual small pieces, a back bulb and a new growth. So that's to grow on this year. I don't expect that to bloom. In fact, if it tries, I might well, I might well stop it. I want to get four good sized bulbs on this plant with their back bulbs. And then next year, it'll have the strength to do a good blooming and it'll also have the room in the pot to grow. So that's the idea with that one. Um, yeah, there's not much else going on, quite honestly. I mean, all the sort of um, twinkles and the like on the, on the hanging racks, they're in growth mode, so they're not going to bloom till the autumn. Um, this one's pushing out a nice new growth, whatever that one is, I've forgotten. And um, yeah, the, there's another one of that type there. The Catlia, Catlia ones up there are starting to get some new growths now. So they are, they've been sulking a long time. Oh, and one of my Orangus has got a spike. And where's he gone? There he is. This is the one when I got it and it first bloomed. I didn't like it much. I thought, well, that's a bit nondescript. And then it grew on me. And eventually I really liked the blooms, but we do have a spike coming up the top there. They're very small blooms, but um, it grows okay, you know. But yeah, we have a spike, so that will be in bloom in the, well, a while. <laughs> Quite a while, in fact, come to think of it. Quite a while. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> today we'll be uh, keeping my eye on temperatures and what's going on. Um, yeah, it'll be a good test because in this country, in, this, in the south of England, you know, we don't normally get above 30 very often. Um, I mean, today and tomorrow, London and the southeast of the country are going to get the worst of the temperatures. And um, up north will still be sensible temperatures for the time of year, maybe even a little bit cooler than normal. But um, yeah, the southwest gets that extra little bit of breeze so um, we'll see how it goes and we'll see how this place copes because at the moment although it's turned off that's it that's the cooling and the air circulation one medium sized fan now as the temperatures climb I will fire this one up as well and get that extra airflow. The idea being that you keep the air moving on the leaves and it stops them warming up so much. Just keep the air flowing. Because quite honestly, these things, when they're on full blast, that's a draft. That's a cooling effect. It's not, you know, it's not a gentle breeze. They're actually quite powerful. So there is a cooling effect, but I would only use them on full power like that when I had the temperatures that I want to keep that air moving. So uh, we do have that as backup, which will probably come into use today. And then, as I said, um, under normal circumstances, if it was getting a bit hot, I'd just open the window and the door for literally two or three minutes. That's all it takes. Um, and we'll see how we go. And also, it's forgotten that Hurricane Hector, look at all that mess on the floor from repotting. Ugh. <laughs> More work. Um, Hurricane Hector has quite a cooling effect. The air that comes out of there, the moist air, the mist, is cool. So it's actually capable of dropping the temperature. The air that it sucks in, the, you know, the normal air that it sucks in the bottom, comes out cold. So there's a cooling effect going on there as well. And I'm hoping that all of this actually works. But today and tomorrow will be the test. And then Saturday, apparently, we might get some rain. Yeah, typical, because I'm going out and going to Malvern and I've got travelling to do. <laughs> well, and walking about to do. Yeah. <laughs> we shall see. They're not certain on what's happening Saturday, but they do believe there's a change on the way. So we'll see. But today and tomorrow we do heat. And um, nice clear blue skies. And if you like that sort of thing, today's a good day to go and visit places. You know, out in the countryside and things. Apart from the fact, if you suffer from pollen, it's probably better not to. <laughs> right. Um, my set of repotting videos um, came to a dramatic finale, like I ran out of steam. I also ran out of day. My, my working day doesn't go right up until 8 o'clock in the evening. My orchid working day stops mid-afternoon to late afternoon with gaps in it. 
it's a leisurely thing, you know. And basically I got, I think I got 16 repotted in the day out of 26, which I didn't think was bad going. I mean, I set my task trying to do the lot in one day, but we all knew that was a bit ambitious. <laughs> anyway, 26 in, uh, sorry, 16 in one day. That's a good lump done now. And there are some oddities in the ones that, that are left that may be done as single repots, like the Cymbidium, for instance. That'll get done on its own. You know, it's not like anything else. So, uh, and then there's a group of Dendrobium still to do. And uh, like I say, a few oddities, but uh, yeah. So the third video I will post later today, sort of early evening, something like that. <coughs> and that will do for overnight and something. And I may have something to film on Friday, I don't know, but I won't have any video on Saturday because I'll be out all day. It literally is a really early start. I'll be leaving here about um, six o'clock in the morning, something like that, and I'll probably be back about seven or eight o'clock at night. So I'll be out all day. But while I'm there, I will be filming orchids. So we should get some nice videos out of that. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye for now.